because it's so large and people aren't accustomed to seeing them, um, they can be quite shocking when you do encounter them. Hammerhead worms are an invasive flatworm that showed up in the 1900s from Southeast Asia. Auburn University insect diagnostician Dr. Meredith Schrader says individuals typically encounter them at night after a rainstorm. So they come out in the moist area looking for food, which is other earthworms. Hammerhead worms typically mind their own business by staying in leaf litter gardens. They're here to stay. They're expanding their range. Um, they are commonly found in the southeast United States where we have the high temperatures, lots of humidity and moisture. Uh, they are moving westward uh, into Texas. So what should one do if they are to come across a hammerhead worm? There's not any reporting that needs to go to the Department of Ag or, or higher ups, but definitely let your neighbors know that you've encountered them and also to let them know to squish them. And whatever you do, don't cut them. You don't want to chop them up because that just creates a whole bunch of little baby worms. Um, because that's one way that they do reproduce. Dr. Schrader says these worms are very distinctive. Typically, they're, when people tend to notice them, they're lo large, long, skinny worms. They're tan in color with stripes, these long longitudinal stripes on their bodies. And the important thing to note is that they are pretty harmless to people, and it's probably not the best idea to keep them as pets either. There's a toxin that is emitted um, on their bodies, so that would be something to tell your neighbors that because of that toxin, you know, let them know it's around. Don't let toddlers handle them. To learn more about these invasive hammerhead worms, visit our website at fox54.com. In Huntsville, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News.